It's dinner time and I'm starving again. <laughs> Hi guys, today's video is for Anna Sarconi who has almost a million subscribers on her main channel and over 2 million subscribers on their family channel. A mutual follower on Tumblr said, guys, please go over and have a look at Anna's Snapchat, listen to what she has to say about carbs and can you make a response video? Yep, this is literally what happens when I eat carbs. <laughs> oh dear. So Anna has raised a very common misconception about carbs and has provided a great opportunity for education. We hear time and time again from people, I can't digest fruit, I can't digest starches, carbs just don't agree with me. Here's the thing, we cannot objectively say whether a particular plant food digests well for us or not while we're still eating any quantity of animal products whatsoever because physiologically and anatomically we are designed to eat only plant foods not animal foods and science supports this because it's shown that 14 out of the world's 15 leading causes of death are linked to eating animal foods whereas plant foods heal reverse prevent all of our major leading causes of death so was it the carbs in the brownie well, Anna has a recipe video on her channel for the brownie. So we went over, had a look at the video, punched the ingredients into chronometer, and let's have a look at the macros. So you can see that 50% of the calories in the brownie come from fat. So that is the majority of the calories in the brownie. Only 45% come from carbs and 5% from protein. So you cannot blame the carbs in the brownie for the bloating if more of the calories in the brownie come from fat, not carbs. The other thing is that Anna described the bloating after she had dinner and before she went to bed, but she ate the brownie in the mid-afternoon. See the investigative work we're doing here? So we need to have a look at what Anna actually ate for dinner. So dinner was chicken and rice and dessert was fresh fruit. Well that fibreless, decaying corpse of the poor murdered chicken takes days to pass through our digestive tract, which is designed only to eat plants. Whereas the fresh fruit, which is high in both fiber and water, only takes hours. So that fresh fruit quickly catches up to the rotting flesh of the chicken. It sits on top and starts to ferment, which causes the bloating. So was it the fruit's fault? Absolutely not. It's the decaying corpse of a chicken in the stomach. It's the poor food combining. And this reminds us of the example of the obese man who eats an entire meal at McDonald's and then has a watermelon afterwards and is admitted to hospital because of severe cramps and bloating and pain. And he blames the watermelon. It's the McDonald's. <laughs> okay, so we have to look at the whole picture. We can't blame carbs when we're still eating animal foods. So this is why for most people, for optimal digestion, we don't recommend eating fresh fruit after cooked food. Certainly not after eating animal products. So should Anna restrict her carb calories? Absolutely not. In fact, she needs to eat much more of them. So her breakfast was good with the oatmeal and the dried fruit. Apart from the skim milk, she could have used plant milk instead. But it was way too small, which is why after her post-breakfast workout, she was starving. It's about one o'clock. I'm just back from swimming with Amelia. I'm starving. Like I usually I eat breakfast about half past eight, so it's been that long. And I did a workout and I am so so hungry. So what does someone who's starving eat? A salad for lunch? Oh Anna, there's practically zero calories in this meal. And that's why she went for the brownie as a mid-afternoon snack, because number one, half its calories are from fat. And remember, one gram of fat has twice the amount of calories as carbs. So it's, the brownie is very high in calories, which is what her body was craving. And number two, the cacao or cocoa in the brownie contains theobromin, which is a stimulant drug similar to caffeine, which stimulates the central nervous system and adrenal glands and gives us a false sense of energy. And of course she went for a coffee as well as the brownie, so she's really needing that mid-afternoon boost of energy because she's just not getting enough from her food. Very low calorie, very low carb. 
So then it's dinner time and what does Anna have to say? We're finally having dinner. I'm starving again. I just like have been looking forward to this dinner all day. Well, of course you are, Anna. I would be starving too if that's all I ate all day. I'm starving just watching your what I eat in the days. And with two young children, a husband, two YouTube channels and workouts, you need to eat way more carbs, not less. So we hope this has helped clarify the question about carbs are making me blow. Carbs don't do my body any good and you know I just can't handle eating them. It ain't the carbs, it's the poor food combining and especially the animal foods, they gotta go. So help us share this education with Anna so that she can set a good example for her millions of followers by becoming the healthiest, fittest and most energetic version of herself without relying on stimulant drugs to mask her fatigue. We're going to post her social media links down below. Please, please, please help us spread this message and get this video to her. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember until next time, going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Small volumes of food. Now if you carry that mentality over to a plant-based diet, you're going to find yourself in real trouble because... because plant-based foods are lowering calories than animal products, so you need to